the woman's 200 IM comes on the pool deck is this is a, an event that Tokyo really dominated a week ago. They won both the men's and the women's 200 IM and 400 IM. You expect them to potentially do the same, but Vizayos jumps out. And now Sydney Pickram's going to stand in the way of Ohashi potentially in that battle between lane number four and seven here on the women's side. Well, Pickram did win the second match, yeah, absolutely. But, and this is a big but, Ohashi went two seconds faster when she won match three. And Bikram has already swum the 200 breaststroke. Certainly their best chance. Siobhan O'Connor actually, I say her best chance. How about Siobhan O'Connor? She's the one that could be a huge factor here. Rated ninth in the ISL. Bailey Anderson for DC Trident. Rated fourth. She finished second to Pickram in match number two. And but there's Ohashi, her event rating. It's eighth. She only has one win. Gets another win. I would expect that she would certainly climb up the ISL rating system. Five swimmers rated in the top ten in this event. Ohashi, very good. Just all around swimmer. She really doesn't have a weakness. I thought coming into the meet, breaststroke would be the weakness, but she proved me wrong on that. She had a great breaststroke leg in the 200 IM the first match. Yeah, Nohashi really looks like she's found that easy speed, the first 50 in the butterfly. Teammate am I out fast, 27-5, but uh, there are three or four swimmers right there within a half a second of each other after the first 50. Yes, so I'm trying to get into the mix for the LA Current, currently third, but here is Ohashi starting to take control of the race. Man, what a great backstroke leg for her from virtually even. Let's see how yeah. big her lead is. Wow, what a leg. Bernie, what a leg for Ohashi. 31-5, nobody else broke 32. Bickham was 32-1. But now we'd expect Pickram, the Canadian, who swam together with Beryl Gastadello in college at Texas A&M to maybe move up here on the breaststroke leg. I, you know, I, I would think so, but Ohashi was so good on her breaststroke leg, she outsplit Pickram when she swam the 200 IM earlier. They didn't swim against each other, but it looks like Pickram's certainly gonna pick up room here in the breaststroke. Ohashi's holding her own though, 36-2. Pickham was 35-9, so now, no doubt she outsplit her, but she's not going to catch her. Ohashi trying to get a win for Tokyo. They last won the 200 breaststroke with Shimizu. They could use some points. They find themselves trailing London by eight points. Will this help Tokyo move up the standings? Ah, look at us. Ohashi with her second ISL win, the Frog Kings. Two for two. Not a bad way to start your ISL career. 29-7 for Ohashi. Outsplit everybody in the field except for Gorbanko, who did a nice job for LA to grab third. Pickram was 30.1. She was solid, no doubt about it. She went from fourth to third and then held on to second, the last 100. Gorbanko moved from sixth at the 50 to third, and Ohashi went from third to first the rest of the way and outsplit everybody right there to win this pretty comfortably by a full second over Pickram. All right, so LA still in the lead over London. Eight and a half points, but Tokyo climbing closer to the London roar. Folks, we expect it to be like this throughout both days, all the way down to the skins.